Joining us now from the County of Jackson, the Director of Parks, Facilities and Events, Kyle Lewis. Hi, Kyle. Hi there. Good, Good to see, see you. you. Thanks for coming in on uh, a day in your busy season. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. It's been, uh, I think with, uh, with COVID, we saw a huge increase in usage of the parks. Has that stayed true this year too? You know, it really has. Uh, May, you know, May started off, it wasn't the greatest. We had some, quite a bit of rain there towards the beginning, especially for the golf course, it wasn't the greatest, but it's, um, yeah, and now it's been hot every day. So the splash pad, all the swimming beaches have been uh, packed, which is great to be able to provide that uh, relief. But uh, yeah, it's been uh, another, on a third year in a row of, uh, of very high attendance, but good to see people out enjoying the park. So yeah, and the parks look great. Uh, one of I think anybody that lives in Jackson County that they'll tell you you know, in their first breath that our parks, lakes, that's our our biggest asset. Yeah, this county is just blessed with natural resources. It seems like you can't go too far without driving uh, and coming across a lake and uh, or a river. I mean, that's just yeah, beautiful county. It is. So the uh, splash pad opened uh, thanks to the Kiwanis. I think you've got some partners that help with some of the park operations, including the Kiwanis Club. Yeah, they've been a great partner to kick off the summer each year, right when school's out for uh, beginning of the summer celebration and providing uh, uh, ice cream and, and pizza in partnership with uh, Cascades Ice Cream and, and Little Caesars. Uh, the Kiwanis Club has been great to kick off the summer and we're gonna do something uh, similar at the end of the summer with uh, Consumers Energy to uh, back to school bash basically at the splash pad. Nice, great asset and very popular. Yesterday I drove by, uh, it was packed, but that's what it's for. Thanks to the Kiwanis for kicking off again this year and they helped fund um, the splash pad to begin with. They did, yeah. They've got their, their logo on the uh, on the bucket there, which is uh, which is very cool. We had a lot of great community support though to, to, to get that project rolling a few years ago. Well, let's talk about the Cascades uh, for a couple minutes. Uh, this year is the 90th anniversary of the actual Cascades, and really everything at the Cascades, the golf course, the uh, manor house, it's all it was all that same year that it was introduced. Yeah, all that again back in 1932, and really all because of one, of one person's vision, Captain uh, William Sparks. So you know what a great gift to this community. Um, you know, this past uh, Sunday we had our second of three fireworks shows, and uh, Captain Sparks' grandson, uh, Tim Sparks, great grandson, sorry, Tim Sparks, was uh, in attendance and said a few words uh, before the fireworks show. So great to still have uh, connection to some members of the Sparks family and. I'm uh, glad they're active and involved. We've got an uh, event this Friday that was postponed due to a, a rain out earlier in the season. You've got um, anniversary car show. Yeah, with it being the 90th anniversary, we tried to do some different things uh, to get people excited to come out. So this is a, kind of a first time f event for us. Um, you know, we'll have some food trucks available as well, live entertainment, uh, some, some live music. Um, but it starts at 6 p.m. So, um, just a different different way to come out and experience the falls this Friday night. Tonight, uh, Wednesday, is family night. Looks like it's uh, going to be a decent evening after all. Yeah, it does. You know, we've, we've got our family nights going every Wednesday uh, throughout the summer months, so different live entertainment and our uh, costume characters if it's not uh, 95 degrees or so, <laughs> but uh, it's looking good, for, looking good for tonight. Flight tonight, classic rock. And that's the rest of July's uh, rundown. And the other concert uh, event that you have is the Rotary Bandshaw series, and that's a free concert. And that's this Saturday. We've got uh, Reeds and Steel acoustic duo. Yeah, those you know free and thanks to a, a great partner with Little Caesars. Uh, they've been sponsoring that for years, and it's uh, it's great to have that support to be able to provide that. Uh, I think one of your brainchilds, Palooza at the Falls, is back this year. Yes, back this year. I don't have the date in front of me. I want to say July 28th, though. It's uh, 29. 29. It Missed close. it by one. Okay. <laughs> so uh, coming up, yeah. We again, it's just uh, that's the one uh, one night of the year that we have. Uh, uh, we'll have some food trucks. We'll have a, we'll have a beer uh, beer tent at the falls as well. So 
just always looking for different ways to, to have people come out and uh, enjoy the falls. So. Also, you're going to round up those food trucks for a food truck event at Killy Park next week. Yeah, we've got two outstanding interns that have been working on this this event. So, a first time event for us at uh, Keeley Park. And, and you know, when the uh, master plan for Keeley Park was uh, evolved in, in 2016, I think you know the whole one of the goals of that plan was to make those grounds more of a one one week uh, a year uh, site, basically. So this is just you know more of that effort to get people to come out uh, all year round and experience uh, the fairgrounds or Keeley Park. So uh, it'll be a fun evening, uh, dinner time. No entry fee, you know, plenty to choose from. Uh, I think we've got 15 trucks lined up, so it should be a great time. What's your favorite uh, food truck item? Uh, I like the wood-fired pizza a lot. Yeah. Um, I love tacos, though. I mean, it's, uh, there's so many different ways to have tacos and so many different kinds of tacos. <laughs> that <laughs> oh, we certainly have a huge variety of food trucks uh, every year. They just they grow and grow. Yeah. Well, we've got... Um, Big project that uh, is in the future at the Cascades. You removed the boulevards, so now what are you going to do? Yeah, so you know the city of Jackson um, uh, turned basically Brown and uh, Randolph streets into two lanes. Went from uh, four lanes to two lanes. Um, so we saw that as an opportunity to increase parking for the park. We've got, uh, you know, it's there's nights, family nights uh, where the park is full. A lot of little league, obviously. A lot of large events. We could always use more parking, so we saw this as an opportunity to uh, to expand parking. So we're gonna um, we're gonna turn one lane into parallel parking on both of those uh, streets there, and one lane for traffic for the parking, basically. So that's a now through August type project in partnership with uh, with JC Dot, our Department of Transportation. Um, but we've got a you know a pickleball complex that's coming um, um, soon. I'm not sure how soon. Maybe this fall, early spring. So we're going to need more parking for that. Um, you know, the, the memorial area with USS Arizona and the Twin Towers, uh, you know, there's just a lot of uh, need for parking there, and this kind of solves that for us. So. Yeah, the main uh, lot was full the other day with uh, Southwest Flow League. There was a church event and um, the falls. So, yeah. yeah. Um, you mentioned um, pickleball. That is um, going to be huge. I noticed the Sharp Park pickleball courts last night are just overflowing with people. Uh, how many courts are going to be part of that? Uh, eight courts. Oh wow, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah. So, yeah, a little. Uh, we were hoping to be under construction at this time. Uh, it was a little bit delayed. P much of the funding is from a DNR trust fund grant. So that uh, that bill was just passed actually last Thursday. So um, we we're hoping that would have been passed a little bit earlier in the year. We could have kicked off construction, but uh, thankful it is passed now and. Um, and it'll be coming coming soon. But uh, a great partner with the Pickleball Association that raised uh, almost half the uh, funds for that, and then uh, the nice grant from the from the DNR to, to top it off. Do you play pickleball? I'm going to. I'm, uh, I've had a few times. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably. I'll need to practice a little bit more before I. I'll tell you what. We can practice that together. Sounds... I, I think I'm at the same skill level you are. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Well, we've got uh, a lot more parks besides Cascades and Killy Park, so uh, let's talk about a couple others. We've, with the summer, we've got parks at, at the lakes. How many? We've got 12 parks uh, on lakes with sw swimming beaches. 12 so. parks on the lakes with swimming beaches and boat launches. Boat launches, yep. We're making some improvements to some of our boat launches, too. We've got uh, at uh, Swains Lake and Vineyard Lake this year. We're scheduled to install some... Uh, some docks to make it easier to uh, to launch your fishing boat, and some concrete planks uh, in the water for uh, you know more traction basically of going in and out of the water. So along with that will come uh, parking improvements. Mm -hmm. um, so that was one of the things that we talked about uh, throughout the park millage campaign a few years ago was improving lake access. So this kind of fits in with that uh, with that uh, promise. Amazing, twelve parks on the lakes, just in Jackson County. Uh, Falling Waters Trail, another one of our great assets. You've got some plans for that? Yep, we, uh, we're kind of in a phase two of some improvements between uh, Teft and uh, Moscow Roads. Uh, last year we removed some of the very large cracks and uh, filled it in with new asphalt. Um, and this year, um, the phase two of that is to come in with a new overlay of asphalt to kind of smooth that back out, basically. Mm -hmm. So, um, some new trail surfacing going in. Um, we've got some new 
entry drives, uh, one at Pleasant Lake uh, County Park, we d redid the entry drive there. Um, parking lot improvement at Vandercook Lake uh, County Park there, uh, and Lime Lake County Park coming soon with the entry drive. So um, just chipping off uh, some, some maintenance uh, items and some projects and a couple of new playgrounds. Uh, Lime Lake uh, got a new playground last fall, and we're working actually with Lomar uh, Machine and Tool on a, on a, a playground project for, for at uh, Alfred R. Snyder. Horton Mill County Park. So, awesome. Uh, definitely a lot uh, to <laughs> have a uh, handle on and yeah. busy summer as well. Thanks for uh, taking time to be here. Yeah, I appreciate the uh, invite. Yeah. So. The uh, world renowned Jackson County Parks and the uh, manager of parks, facilities, and events for Jackson County, Kyle Lewis. Yes, events, we do have those this summer. They are back. Stay tuned, uh, details on a couple of them are next.